Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have decided to start a weekly-ish type vlog. It is December 4th, it is after 11 p.m., it is a Monday. I know it's a really weird time to start vlogging, but it is something I've been thinking about for a while. I know it's been forever since I've uploaded on my channel, but I have been thinking about what kind of content I wanted to post, what kind of things I can be doing. Um, I haven't forgotten about this, and one thing I've really wanted to do, um, because I've discovered a love for it, is a vlog. So that's what this is. This is going to be the start of a weekly-ish type vlog where I take you with me throughout my life. Um, for the most part, like in my everyday day-to-day -day life, I'll probably just show you like maybe sometimes in the morning um, and somewhat at night because I do work a full-time job. So that's basically where I am all day. Um, so it might just be like check-ins here and there. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what this is going to turn out like. Um, but I'm really excited to see it. I'm really excited to show you guys what's going on, what it's like to live in DC, what it's like to work and do all this kind of stuff. Um, I will also be doing tons of makeup videos, fingers crossed. And yeah, I'll be traveling soon um, for the holidays, visiting my family and going to some pretty cool places. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, this is like I said, something I've been thinking about for a while, something I've been wanting to do. I actually got a new camera so I could actually really do this. Plus, it's something I've been wanting, so it wasn't just specifically for this, but it helps. And I'm really excited about it. I think it will be really fun. I can't wait to get to know you guys better, and I hope you guys feel the same way about me. Um, yeah, and I know, like I said, it's a really weird time to start vlogging, but it's something I was putting off and off because I was like, oh, it's not the right time, it's not the right time. But then today, I just figured, you know what? I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna get started on this part of my life and show you guys what's up. So right now I am actually about to pack up a little bag to return it that I ordered and then you know go wash my face get ready for bed and then I'll show you guys what I'm up to tomorrow. Good morning you guys hope you guys are doing well today. I am just getting ready for work right now. I am doing my makeup and then I will probably be headed out the door. Um, like I said, I work a full-time job. So basically what I do in the morning is get ready and then make my way into the office. Hey guys, so I totally look like a mess right now, but I literally just walked in the door it is raining outside. I did a couple of errands and I was planning on taking you with me to do said errands. But like I said, it was raining and I didn't really want to mess up my camera by pulling it out in the rain. So I will show you what I got in a little bit with that. I just finished up dinner and put it away. I got the Kung Pao chicken from P.F. Chang's and then I went ahead and got their um, cho wall of chocolate chocolate cake. And it is so good. If you haven't had it, it's like the Cheesecake Factory, like really chocolatey seven layer cake, whatever, but they also give you um, a raspberry sauce to go with it and it is fantastic. It was delicious and it's huge, which is great because like that thing is expensive, but it will last me like for dessert for all week. So right now I don't have any makeup on because like I said, I went to Sephora after work. I had a return of foundation um, that just really wasn't working for me. So I picked up a couple of samples of um, something else to try. So the first one I picked up was the sample of the Bare Mineral Bare Pro Satin 05. And then the other one I picked up was a sample of the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. And I got matched in the shade cool sand so I'm really excited to try these two out the girl at my Sephora said that the bare mineral one is kind of like the hourglass vanish stick but in liquid form and I really love the vanish stick um, but I was trying to find something that would be like it but as a liquid while the foundation in a stick is nice 
it also does run out kind of quickly because there's not as much product in it as you would get in a liquid foundation but it is a beautiful beautiful foundation so I like wearing that one and then the Bobbi Brown one um, is supposed to be like your skin but better with a little bit to light to medium coverage so I'm really excited to be trying those out the next couple of days and seeing what they look like the other thing um, that I did was I went to Michael's which is the craft store here um, and I got two things so the first thing that I got was this really cute happy planner so about me I love planners I don't always use it but I always have to have one. Um, I think it's a product of how I went through school. I always had to have a planner. I always had to keep up with it. And it just helped, really helped me organize my life. Um, since I started working, I haven't been using it as much because like my life is basically like I go to work each day and then I come home. But I had a planner still and I haven't been using it as much because it's a bigger one. So it's the bigger size of this one, not the biggest, biggest one but like bigger than this and I can't carry it with me anywhere so anytime that I wanted to go ahead and plan something write something down anything like that um, I wouldn't have my planner on me so I went to Michaels to pick up one for January since I basically only have about t a week and a half ish um, here in DC um until I go on vacation for the holidays and then I'll have this when I come back but I'm really excited because it's a really cute little size I think it'll be easy to carry around um and just like plan some more I really want to use this so I can go ahead and put like video ideas in it and it was really great because this was also on sale for like 40% off so it was like $11 so the final thing that I got was I got a package of Smarties. Yes, I know they're not healthy, especially after I just said I had chocolate cake, but I have been craving Smarties for so long now. I kind of blame Tati because I keep seeing them on her channel, but I have been craving Smarties and I can't find them anywhere. So as soon as I saw them at Michael's in the checkout line, I was like, I have to have this. So week one and I'm already failing at this whole vlogger thing. It is now Wednesday. I completely forgot my camera battery today. So I had my camera with me. I had my tripod and I forgot the battery on the charger. So I just got home and my things that I have a package. So I'm going to the front to go check out what is here. Oh, okay. Interesting, I love when I get samples that I never ask for. So what I got was the Guerlain Laundry de Peau. I have no clue how to pronounce it, but I got this foundation. Um, it says it's a natural perfection foundation skin fusion texture with sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 20. And I got the shade Porcelain, which is 00N, which I'm assuming is the natural neutral shade. Um, haven't tried this one before, but I figured I was running out of foundation, so I should try a new one. And I haven't, I don't hardly have one of like a more natural finish texture, but this bottle is so pretty. You can see it with the discount from Sephora. It was basically like the price of a normal foundation from Sephora. So I thought it would be a great time to try it. And then I got a 100 point reward of this little itty bitty um, beauty blender solid cleanser, which is always nice. Um, I haven't gotten one of these before, but I like the full size normal one. Um, to clean my beauty blender and this will be good for when I'm traveling and things like that. Ooh, don't I look scary? So I decided to do a quick little um, mud mask before bed. I thought it would be nice to do something um, detoxifying. Normally I use this one as like a spot treatment but um, I figured why not just do a nice detoxifying mask all over my face. It's been a while since I've done one of those. Um, so the one I'm using is the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. 
um, I figured it would be a nice thing to do before I went to bed tonight. Now I'm going to be putting some more water um, and oil into my diffuser. My sister got this for me for Christmas. Um, it was an early christmas -y type present. So I've been using it um, before I go to bed at night. So it's now just after 6 on Thursday. I'm heading home from work, which is why it's kind of dark. Um, honestly, not sure if you can even hear me. It is freezing out here, and I just found out that it is supposed to snow in um, two days, so on Saturday. We're supposed to get snow. It will be our first snow of the season if it actually does. And I can't say I'm really looking forward to it. Luckily, I will be able to be home most of the day if I want to be, so. Yeah, I'm not used to this whole trying to vlog in public kind of a thing. So I'm hoping people don't give me too strange of looks, but that's what's going on. I'll check back in a little bit. Hi guys, so I am home now. Um, in the couple minutes that I was recording as I was walking outside, my hands were frozen, um, which is why I put my camera down until I got home. But I am home now. I got another little package from Sephora. Um, it's an addiction. It, it really is. Um, but just a couple other things coming. And they all come basically in like individual boxes. So I'm just going to open this up now. What I ended up getting was another Marc Jacobs blush. Um, I had picked up one of them during the Sephora sale. I picked up the... I want to say it's the Flesh and Fantasy one, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous, like, nude shade. Um, I picked it up based off of Alana Davidson's recommendation. Not that she told it to me personally, but, you know, I watch a lot of her videos. So, and I, and I love her makeup. So I watch a lot of her videos, and she said that was one of her favorite brushes. Said that was one of her favorite blushes. So I picked that one up, and I love the formula. It's so so beautiful so and then I went to Sephora the other day because yes I I also had gone to Sephora but that was you know when I was returning other things and stuff um I swatched this one and I thought it was so pretty and unlike any other color that I have I got the lush and libido one um they have another one um called what is this night fever and hot stuff which it says is a cherry deep plum mix um that was really pretty honestly i swatched all of them in the store and they're all gorgeous but the one i got the um lush and libido it's really hard to open this with one hand i don't have my tripod out right now but it looks like this it is a beautiful like pink baby pink if you haven't tried these blushes they're gorgeous um and if you have let me know which ones you like because they're they're fantastic i love the little like clasp here even though it is hard to open with one hand um but i can't wait to try this one out so it's now about 11 p.m and i threw on this sweatshirt because i was so cold i can always tell when it gets colder out outside because it gets really cold in my apartment but i like hoodies and dressing up in um really comfy clothes so that is what i'm wearing it's just really cozy and comfortable and yeah i think i'm probably gonna be heading to bed soon because i am getting a little tired um, and just being in a cozy bed, warm bed, sounds really great right about now. Get all warmed up and snuggled and probably watch a couple of more YouTube videos. It's kind of like what I like to do at night. I like to just watch different, um, YouTube videos and just see what's up in the lives of my favorite YouTubers. I don't know. I, I always find them really interesting. I think I've always been into YouTube videos, but... 
Um, there were a few years there where I wasn't watching as many, and then I've gotten recently really back into them. But um, I think I mentioned I have kind of a busy-ish planned weekend um, coming up because it is my last weekend here um, for the year, actually. Um, I will be traveling starting next Saturday for the rest of the year. Um, I will be heading to Florida for a little bit, going back home, and then I will be going to Germany to see my sister, um, with my family, and then, um, I know she's already planning to go to a bunch of different Christmas markets, so I will take you guys along with me to those. Stay tuned for those videos. I think it'll be a lot better, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, at least they're pretty, so even if you get bored of me, you'll see those. Um, and I will get to show you, most likely, if my sister okays it, my super adorable nephew. And then I'll be heading back to Florida for a few more days before I come back up here. Um, and just, you know, getting to enjoy the end of the year. The last, like, two, the last month has also been really nice because I got to go home, which was the first time I had gotten to go home in months. I hadn't been home since, like, February. So, I'm gonna hang out, chill um nothing crazy going on here so i'll just talk to you guys tomorrow good night good morning you guys it is now friday and it is just after 10. um i am working from home today so i woke up and you know started working basically so i'm now taking a quick break because i'm really hungry and it is rather cold in here so i just upped the thermostat um, like I said, I can always tell when it gets cold, um, outside because it gets a lot colder in my apartment. Um, I looked at the weather, it's supposed to be like 40 degrees as the high today. Um, so that's, that's not going to be fun. Um, I have to leave right here in a few hours during like lunchtime, um, to go ahead and take my friend's dog out. So it's now just afternoon and I'm gonna head out to go take care of the pup. Um, of course, as I was on my way, I grabbed my bags and I spilled over some coffee. So I just had to spend some time cleaning that up. We just got back from our walk. This is Mr. Max. He's such a friendly, happy little dog. Really cute. I like getting to watch him. Um, I really miss having a dog of my own, like, at home. And I can't have one where I live. So, it's nice when I get to see other people. And like I said, he's super, super friendly. So, um, we just had our walk. I'll be hanging out with him while I do some work now. Hi, puppy. Hey guys, what's up? It is now just after five, so I am off. I am done with work for the week. I am so happy. Um, it should be a good weekend, and I only have one more week left until I start my travels for um, the holidays. So I think it will be a good time, um, and I'm just really happy that the work week is done. Um, so I just took the dog outside for a like midday before dinner um, kind of outing, and realized it is really, really freezing. Like in the 10 to 15 minutes that I was outside with him, my hands were frozen, my nose was cold, my ears were hurting. So I don't think I'm gonna end up making that walk um, to get the Ethiopian food like I was planning on tonight, which I'm really disappointed in. But it would be about half an hour there, half an hour back. And um, I don't really wanna spend an entire hour outside trekking to go get food that will be cold by the time I get home. So I just ended up deciding to order some chicken from 
um, this place that's much closer by. I just didn't really want to cook. Plus, I don't have anything to cook. I need to go grocery shopping. But I'm also not really wanting to get a ton of stuff because I don't want it to go bad um, since I'm not going to be home all that much um, in the next week. And then I'll be leaving. And I just, I'd rather my food not go bad. Hello. How are you guys? So it is now 11.48 p.m. on Friday still. Um, it wasn't a super eventful day. I did get to play with a puppy though, so that was always fun. Um, I just got home from walking him and hanging out with him tonight. Um, and then I'll be going back there in the morning. On the walk tonight though, um, we're, we were just, you know, walking along and then I see someone walking up with a, another dog and I see this dog and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's, it's gotta be at least part Yorkie. Yorkie's my favorite kind of dog. I love all dogs. I really do. But Yorkie's are what I grew up with and I've just always thought they were like the most adorable things on the planet. So I'm, I'm pretty good at spotting Yorkie's. So this guy walks up with his dog. The dog gets so excited to see Max so excited i wish i had footage of it but it was kind of dark and you couldn't really see um but the puppy because he did tell me it was puppy um was just like oh my god oh my god it's another dog can i play and was just jumping all around max and just having a grand old time it was so cute he was apparently a 10 month old yorkie dachshund mix very adorable so excitable so friendly oh it was it warmed my heart so cute i just i loved it good morning it is just before 9 a.m on saturday i am up to go ahead and go take max out i don't know if you can see it but the snow has definitely picked up and i'm back i'm now at my friend's house if you can't tell the decoration is a lot different um we just went out for our walk Max was not happy with the snow. Um, we walked out, he went to the bathroom as quick as possible and then was like, can we go back inside? It's too cold out here. So we're back in, it's breakfast time. I just gave him some food. I had went to buy Dunkin' Donuts. I got myself an iced coffee because yes, even though it is freezing out, still like my iced coffee. Um, and I got a bagel. So it's now just about lunchtime, and we are about to go O-U-T, take him for a little walk. Let's see how far he goes and see how much snow there is. You ready to go? Come on, Max. So it is still snowing. A little bit more. I don't think he's enjoying it very much. Come on. Hello, hello. It is now 6 p.m. on Saturday. Um, I've been home for the last couple hours. I had some food, talked to my sister and my nephew, um, who you guys will get to meet in about a week. Um, talked to him, been working on the computer. I've been trying to move a bunch of files and move them onto my um, hard drive and everything like that so I can start editing this vlog. Um, I also played a little bit with some makeup, practicing a look that I think I'm going to do a tutorial on maybe later tonight. Um, so that should hopefully be up soon, kind of like a holiday get ready with me, maybe not even a get ready with me, but a holiday tutorial kind of a thing. Um, I'm really loving this red lip, super exciting. Um, I swear, how many times can I say the word exciting in one video? But just getting all dressed again to go back outside. So we're back. He's eating his dinner. I'm about to eat mine. I picked up some chicken fried rice and some gyoza from the place up the street. Um, it smells really yummy. So, and this will be enough fried rice to last me through tomorrow at least. At least for lunch. We'll see. We'll see. Got my water, you know. So I'll have this, eat, hang out with Max for a while. Hopefully it can get my um, 
what's it called my computer like the editing software to work it was taking forever to import um which i don't know i think the editing just because of how long it takes is like my least favorite part i like editing when i can get through it and it's like oh yeah i've made this awesome video but um the whole process of making it how long it takes having to listen to myself all over again um i think that's probably the hardest part for of this for me so hopefully we'll get through it um i'll be here for a little while probably watching some other vlogs while i eat or videos i've been watching a lot of the joey Graceffa um videos th today like while i've been doing other things um and yeah just hanging out if you have any other youtubers you guys really like that you would recommend that i watch let me know i'm always looking for someone else to watch so we just got back inside for my last walk with max before his parents come home it is almost 10 now um and it's cold but it has finally stopped snowing um yeah i've got to get him situated and um get all of my stuff together before i head home for the night i'm gonna go ahead and edit my vlog probably do a video if i can get it um in and yeah i'm gonna wrap up this vlog tonight because um i've realized i already have a bunch of footage that i'm not sure how interesting it is but i have a bunch of footage um for this week so i'm gonna go ahead and start the next vlog up um tomorrow i guess or my, maybe monday just depending on what's going on um but yeah it's been a fun week sharing it with you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you do um give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and if you've made it this far please hit subscribe so you see any of my future videos um if you like seeing max and if you want to see more videos from me remember to hit that thumbs up button and i will see you guys later bye Bye, Max. Bye, Max. Bye. I had so much fun hanging out with you.